Hey guys and welcome to Assassin's Creed Chronicles. This is probably not what you quite expect from an Assassin's game. It's more aimed towards the indie side, more of like an indie title. But I was personally surprised I enjoyed it a lot. It's still within this sort of franchise and like what you expect from like an Assassin's Creed game. But it's now in like a 2D version I guess. So when this game got originally announced we only heard about this China one. So it's apparently supposed to come with the season pass of AC Unity. But unfortunately that season pass does no longer exist so... We are getting like free standalone games, but you can buy a season pass which gives you access to all these parts, which I'm gonna speak about now. So the first part is China, which comes out on the 21st and 22nd of April. And apparently later in the year, we get the second access to the second part, which is for India, which is set in the 18th century, based on a whole new character as well. Completely different art style. It's the same game, but the art style looks different. It's not painty style. It's more of like a, um, it's like weird, it's like cut out shapes almost, if that makes any sense. I'm not really good with my art terms. Um, but the third one is like a Russian propaganda vibe as well with the art style. And that's it in the 20th century, around the Russian Revolution, 1918, I think. Um, but the guy looks awesome. He's got like a massive gun and he's got like a really cool like vibe to him as well. So I'm looking forward to checking it out. Uh, apparently all these parts will come out at this some point this year. I don't know when exactly. I just know about the China one. But yeah, pretty awesome. But this is all like, I guess it's like, they, they called it like 2.5D, that makes any sense. So sometimes it'll sort of come out it's not constantly just like 2D. Like any Assassin's Creed game, you can decide to go combat crazy, but I decided to go more on the stealth route because combat in this game is quite hard. You have to press like B, as well press the direction. So if it's more than like one guy that turns up, it gets very, very crazy very quickly. And they do tend to like throw stuff at you as well, like throwing knives at you and all they shoot you at one point as well. And I'm like, no, 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 I don't fancy this. Obviously I try my best to be stealthy, but obviously I do get seen a few times because I'm such a noob, um, but yeah. Assassin's Creed games, you're always going to have seen at least like once or twice. <laughs> it's just how it goes. Um, but I like the fact that there's like, there's like hiding spots, so you can sort of hide in the shadows, which is quite cool. We'll jump to the next spot, which can be like under the floor panels, or like behind curtains, or behind like pillars. It all changes as you go. Um, but it's like an emphasis like skipping to like the next hiding spot, which is quite fun. And just trying to not be seen at all. Um, we've got stuff like which can cool sound, like birds can see you. And like little cages that can actually sort of twerp as you go past. We've got like little chimes as well, which sort of chime as you go past or hit them. You can decide to sort of skid under them, which is quite fun. There's a really cool assassination later on where like, I skid and then stab them as I go. It's like, it's so fun to do. Also like how the pace can change from level to level. So this level is quite slow. It's about trying to be stealthy and not be seen. But next level is like getting from A to B very quickly. So I was like trying to like assassinate people very quickly, get from next bit to the next bit. Because the whole place is falling down around you. It's in flames and stuff, so. There's a big emphasis on being very quick. You probably can't tell from the video, but certain parts of this game do get quite difficult at times. I mean, there's, there's certain scenarios where I'm just sitting there, I'm like, how can I do this? There's like 15 guards or something ridiculous, and you've got to try and get from like A to B without dying. I'm like, how do I how do I do this? It's it's crazy. But um, using the noise dart to the right points, um, trying to like sneak past into the shadows, it's just key. Um, but some scenarios are like where I get seen and then like they, the backup arrives and like, oh no, this is not going well. Um, and then I'll probably die because it is, it is certain parts of this game are like trial and error. But using like the noise darts and all the sort of accessories and gadgets at the right point is, is definitely advisable. Also it seems like every level has like collectibles, also optional quests and also like a main goal. So it's just like assassinate this person in China. Um, but also you got optional stuff to like free prisoners and stuff, free slaves. Which I find quite interesting. So if you want to like explore a little bit more, uh, find all collectibles, do all the optional stuff, that is up to you. Um, I guess it will get, give you trophies or achievements and stuff as well. Right, so let's talk about release dates and stuff. So this game is coming to the Xbox One, the PS4 and the PC. No last gen, unfortunately. Um, also, part one, which is the China one, gets released on the 22nd of April. Unfortunately, no release date for part two or part three yet, but I imagine it will be fairly soon. So what I do now is leave some more gameplay running. Bye, you guys enjoy the video. Give it a nice big like, share it with your friends and stuff on Twitter, on Facebook. I'd appreciate it a lot. Uh, leave any questions and stuff in the comment section below. And also let me know if you want to see some more content on the game when it comes out on the 22nd of April. And I will see you later.
The Templars are going to burn this place to the ground. I need to get out of here. Fast. Save the ships! Save our fortunes! Thank <laughs> you. 